Today I'll be talking about how to build good habits quickly. So it isn't like if you read the title, it isn't quickly. Like, you know, instantly, you know, you're not going to instantly build good habits. Obviously not. It takes time to build good habits. It's not an instant snap of a finger. You know, you're going to instantly have good habits. I wish it was. And, but good habits will set you up for success in life and help you achieve each of your goals and just help you live so much better, more organized, more clean, and help you stay focused on everything you do. So... Which habits are right for you? So, there are many different good habits you could do. Like, there's variety. Like, making your bed is a really good one, really important. And it's that, like, jump start of discipline every single day. You know, you really don't want to make your bed. You get up, you don't want to make your bed. But you got it. Another one that's really good that I highly recommend is meditating. Meditating is highly important. It helps you stay present. helps you with discipline, patience, focus. So many, so much. That is one like so many benefits for meditation that is just like you just gotta do it, man. That's really good. Highly recommend doing that. Praying. That one is really, really good because God can work miracles. God's a God of miracles. Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins and He left He gave us the Holy Spirit to work with, you know. And the miracle, I believe, at least for me, the miracles and gifts still happen today. I re- highly recommend reading. Reading is really good. Read the Bible, read books like Can't Hurt Me, Never Finished, you know, absorb knowledge from knowledgeable people, you know. I'm reading $100 million, 100, yeah, $100 million offers right now, and it's a really, really good book. It gets, it's about business, and I highly recommend it. It has a lot of free resources, and I really like it. Journaling is really, really good, too. Journaling will help you, allow you to have more emotional control of yourself, and it'll help you not explode, if that makes sense. Like, not emotionally explode. Like, it helps you not cry, and like, you know, just emotional meltdowns. It helps you just mentally stay positive. It helps you also think through things, too. You can have a very deep and, like, straightforward mentality when you're journaling. What will future me feel? What will, you know, you write that down. If I was, like, you know, 80 years old, how would I feel about this subject right now? What would I do right now? If I was 80 years old, what would I do for present me now that would benefit future me? Another thing I really recommend doing is SR or semen retention. Semen retention is highly important. It is like, this is, this is meditation. And then the next habit I'm going to talk about is highly important to have. Semen retention is just not releasing your seat, not jerking up, not joinking your, your, you know, stick. It's controlling your energy. Like, there's so much energy in within us. Like, a good example of this is a dog. You see how much energy they have, and the dog, uh, this dog I have right now, and it has so much energy. It's like running all the place, and jumping off the walls. And we recently got neutered. We got it castrated. This dog is now just peaceful. It doesn't, like, really run around. It's just like, it acts like a lap dog. It just kind of sits there, lying about. It doesn't do anything. Four, it was adventurous. It was, you know, running around. It was uncontrollable, almost. To just now, it was, it was sedated. This is this energy we have inside of us. We can use this in our workouts, like just getting extra pumps in the gym. You want to get extra reps in the gym? You want to come stronger? You want to get into PR? This is how SR, seed retention. You hold in your seed. You use that energy for good. It, like, don't think about, you know, the hub throughout the day. Make sure your mind is clear and like, you know, filled with wisdom, good thoughts, and have positive thoughts throughout your mind and try to fill your mind with positivity because this world is filled with negativity. So fill your mind with positivity and think back to when you get tempted one thing that really helped me is, I still struggle with this sin, but think of happy things. Think of happy moments you had in life, in your memories. And then that almost makes you a little bit happy. You know, you're kind of like, man, I'm kind of glad to experience that. When you make yourself happy, I'm like, yeah, that thing isn't worth it. You know, jerking off isn't worth it. The next and really highly important habit is working out. 
helps it helps you to stay fit and it helps you just feel better for yourself. I used to really struggle with confidence and I used to be like really lonely, depressed, anxious. And I'm so grateful God showed me to the gym. He like if you knew what I watched, I used to just watch gaming, you know, TV shows, bunch of bull crap. But one day I just found a random YouTuber. It led me to start going to the gym, start working out again. The the trajectory of my life was going way downhill. And I'm just like a teenager. I was jerking off, eating junk food, fat. You should see a picture of me. But, and I would just play video games all day. I had no goals. I just sat at home all day playing video games, eating junk food, not working, doing nothing for myself. Not taking life seriously. But working out has greatly helped me. I'm glad God showed me to the gym and he's helped me stay physically fit and just helped me like almost he he's made me find like my love for the gym and working out just going fit you know and pushing yourself to the absolute failure just love it and it helps you come stronger too helps you look good stay fit muscular you know <laughs> but next habit is eating the frog. It comes from Mark Twain. It, I forgot the exact quote of the Mark Twain, but it's pretty much, if you eat the frog in the morning, if you have to eat a frog, eat it in the morning, because the rest of the day can't be as bad. So whatever hard work you have, for example, let's say you have a business. Your goal is to sell clients, right? Sell to clients. So sell to, when the first thing you get up, you go to work sell to clients right away or do, do the hard task that you don't want to do that may that hard task may be working out even so just get up early work out right away brush your teeth you know pop in your contacts then work out don't eat breakfast you know don't do your whole morning routine just get up pop your contacts in brush your teeth if you need to and just get to it get straight to your habits for example for me that'll be recording youtube videos Obviously, this is in the morning right now, or I'll either record or upload. I usually try to stay uploading because I would just record, and I don't have much time in the morning to record because of schooling, because I have school in JRTC. If you know a school in JRTC, they take up so much time, and I have to get up at like 4 in the morning already. I have to be at school at 5.30. So I really don't have that much time because I have a morning routine too. But eat the frog, do the hard work, upload. Like for me, it'd be uploading YouTube, recording, editing. Another thing I highly recommend is dieting. Dieting is a really good habit and it ties together working out. Like they're hand in hand together. Dieting will help you achieve each of your goals, help you have a lot more energy in the gym. When you walk in the gym, when you walk in somewhere, when you eat junk food, you just feel like lethargic. And there's like times where I would eat really healthy throughout like the whole entire day. And I remember this one time specifically. I I don't know why I ate. It was just something really greasy, really heavy. And then I went for a run. I was like, oh, what did I do myself? Morning routine. There's so many other other habits for morning routines. Getting enough sleep, you know, getting eight hours sleep. And now we know a bunch of good habits now. Okay, I just told you guys a bunch of good habits. Now, and just choose a couple of these I'm mentioning. Don't like just write out all these and do all these because it's good to know all these and sl like you can slowly add all these into your life, but you can't add all these at once. It's way too much. So I recommend like just taking a couple habits, maybe meditation, sleep retention, working out. Okay, and maybe even dieting too. Those are highly recommended. Those four things. Take those things and do those things for five days a week, two days off. This is just starting out. When you get deeper, I don't want you guys just five days a week, two days off. There was a point in time when I was like dieting and I would eat healthy throughout the whole entire Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday, Sunday, whatever I want. 
And I remember my Saturday and Sunday workouts were garbage. I felt horrible. And I and that that one bad habit of eating bad led me to doing other bad habits that I did not want to do. So I decided, hey, I'm just gonna diet 24 seven. And I will fail, the, I know I will like struggle, I will fall off my diet. I will fall off my diet. It's inevitable. I will eat that cake. Maybe for my birthday. But I'm not gonna, I'm gonna force myself to not, like save it, save the date. Save it for a special event. Only di- diet until, I don't know, it's my birthday. Or I'm going out with my friends. That's fine. That's chill. I'm okay with that. And then once you eventually become, these habits come so oriented into life, just adapt it instead of five days, make it seven days a week. Yeah, you will fight, fail. You won't, you won't hit every habit every single day. Even on the five days a week when you're on starting out, you will fail. I'm telling you this now. You will fail, but you got to get back up. And it's just a simple, like, if you want to meditate, right? A lot of people, like, when they meditate, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to meditate for, you know, an hour straight. I'm going to meditate for 30 minutes straight. You're not. And start with, at least get that three-minute meditation in. That's my whole point. Get that three-minute meditation in. Get that crappy workout that doesn't make you sore. You say, why am I saying this? Because to start these good habits... You will have to hit three minutes of meditation because your your focus is so messed up. <laughs> Hitting, you know, one, two, three, three days off, four days off, you know, not fapping or not losing your seat. Good job. Okay? But then just push that harder, harder, and keep working at it. You know, hit that garage workout with just cardio. Eventually, learn. That's where you got to set goals and learn and research about your goals. Like, if you really want to get into working out, research research working out, research different exercises. What are bodybuilders doing? You know, because I want to get into building muscle, you know, making muscle, and I want to know what bodybuilders are doing. They're using weights, not cardio. The final thing that will definitely launch you and definitely help you is habit tracker. I highly, highly recommend using a paper habit tracker. And I have a video, I will link it down in the description. And look, there's a picture of my paper habit tracker it just it helps you just stay focused and just getting habits every single day and it helps you just track all your habits and stay on top of everything because you don't have also you don't have too many habits in the beginning because you get like bombarded with too many things to do like i i don't remember to do that i forgot to do this i forgot to do this you will forget to do this on the summer habits sometimes like oh shoot i messed up with that and that's okay you just want to focus on like laser focus on three, four, five simple habits. Slowly but surely, you will eventually like, it'll become second nature. It's like, you have to do this. I, I have to do my work routine every day. It's uh, something I do. It helps me just get in that workflow. It helps me just be me. So then you add more habits. Once it becomes like routine, it feels unnatural to not work out. Then add in another habit, and another habit, and another habit. And take this seriously. Like, this, these habits will create you and build you as a person. These habits will help you meet your future wife. These habits will help you become a billionaire, millionaire, whatever you want. These habits will help you achieve and help you build discipline, build focus, build willpower. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I want you to know that Jesus loves you, and... I've been praying for you guys and help you achieve whatever goals you you want to achieve. And let me know if you guys need help, any questions, Q&A. And yeah, peace. Thanks for watching.